your weekly reading this is gonna be like my second time filming the intro because my memory cards not working um, but let's dive in and find out what we got going on for you in the week ahead I got a message that came through some of you need to be working on your sacral chakra some of you need to be that's like the pleasure center and it doesn't have to be sexual it can really be like go do something that you enjoy this week Go do something fun, go do something that you enjoy and really tap into that creative inspiration center. Um, but quick announcement for those of you who know, I'm now fully doing hypnotherapy. I do one-on-one -on -one hypnotherapy coaching. If you're interested in achieving any goals, if you're not ready to do one-on-one, -on -one, I do offer different programs for love, for manifesting a specific person for manifesting money for weight loss. I really love working with weight loss because of my own personal transformation. That's what inspired me to get my hypnotherapy license. So if you are interested in checking that program out, I just added a parts therapy hypnosis where you can communicate directly with the extra weight that you are holding, the part of you that's holding the extra weight to find out what it's all about, what it needs to release the weight. So be sure to check that out. Song I got on Shuffle was Jaded by Miley Cyrus. Um, the first line is like, I know it was wrong and I never said I was sorry. I'm sorry that you're jaded. Um, I could have taken you places. So somebody might be apologizing to you this week. Um, you might be getting a long awaited apology. Some of you might be giving a long-awaited apology. I don't know, the, the jaded energy. Listen to the song and see how you feel. All right, we have freedom. Some of you might be freeing yourself from this feeling or this situation or somebody's gonna help you free from this. We have freedom, spread your wings, growth, overcoming limitations. So you could be coming out of like a little dark space or being in the dark, you know? We have stillness, lack of movement. I feel like that's what you're coming out of. I feel like you're coming out of this place of lack of movement. Okay, so let's get some moonology cards. What's happening for my Virgos in the week ahead? You're not even willing to look at your part. Show the world the real you. Um, I feel like you're not going to be hiding anymore. It's like this is my truth. And this could even be somebody towards you. Like this is my truth. I'm not going to hold it back anymore. If that affects you, then I'm sorry, you know? Um, the energy is gaining momentum. So yeah, I feel like this week, if you've been in a place of feeling like there's been a lack of movement, I think that this week there's going to, there's going to be some kind of movement happening here. And then we have meditate and contemplate. It could be movement that comes after you kind of yeah, I feel like you've been in this period of stillment. Yeah, see, adjustments required. You're sitting in this stillness, but the stillness is serving a purpose because it's helping you make the necessary adjustments. It's helping you process something. And like, there's gonna be movement. I feel like there's definitely going to be movement happening here. So let's get some astrology cards, please. What does the astrology have to say? We have moon, soul. So connecting with your intuitions, your emotions. We have Mars force. Okay, so making like emotional decisions. This to me could be an inspired action. There could be some kind of inspired action that you're taking this week. And then we have Mercury retrograde reinvention. So this could be communication or revision of the past happening. So that to me says like there could be um, amends made this week, amending some kind of past situation, revising some kind of past situation. That's going to bring about some kind of change in your life with the lunar eclipse change here. So, okay, over, let's get the bottom of the energy. Okay, four, four of wands. So union celebration. Um, there could be some kind of celebration happening, some kind of like excitement happening this week 
I think the end of the week is the new moon. So definitely new beginnings. We have the nine of swords. So there could be something that's causing like restlessness. This could be you or somebody else. Because with the nine of swords that can talk about like sleepless nights, anxiety, restlessness, overthinking something. And this might be what leads to this like purge of I never said I was sorry. I know it was wrong and I never said I was sorry. Um, like I just see you maybe thinking about something or somebody thinking about something when it comes to you. And this is like what's pushing like you need to find stillness through this. But that's like the purpose of it showing up, you know. All right, so let's get a clarifier for this Nine of Swords energy. This is the overall energy of the week. Oh, that's a lot. I feel like that's how it's going to feel, though. See, that's like that purge. I feel like there's something purging this week. What is this Nine of Swords? The Three of Wands. Yeah, something that you've been working towards is going to show up. But I do think it shows up because you have to address whatever this restlessness, this anxiety is. Okay, so this three of wands can talk about working hard towards something and then like waiting for it to fall into place. Okay, so let's look at the weekly energy. Ooh, we have the ten of swords. So see how we go from the nine of swords to the ten of swords early on in the week. So if something's been plaguing you, I feel like that cycle ends. That cycle ends. It might be painful through like a painful thing because the ten of swords is never, this can be self-sabotage self-defeat um it's happening early in the week and then we have the strength card see but then you're overcoming this that's the point of it like it's like you kind of have to end this cycle this painful cycle and then the three of cups so expression communication this could even be creativity this could be hanging out with friends um and then we have the nine of wands and then we have the Empress at the end of the week. So there's that like birthing of a new. It's when the new moon is going to be too. Okay, so interesting. Protecting. The Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. So what is this Ten of Swords doing here? What is this Ten of Swords doing here? You pick yourself up pretty quick here. The Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So it's like... Whatever this is happening here, it's almost like you're pushing yourself into the painful situation, like you're leaning into the pain, persevering through it. It's like, I got to go through it to get through it type of thing. And you know, this is what's needed. So it's like, you just push right through it. Um, what's that country song? It's like, if you're going through hell, keep on moving, don't look back. <laughs> Um, that's what it's making me think of. Like that's gonna be early on in this week, but I feel like you you're gonna have like a quick quicker turnaround than you think with the strength card here. Cause once you get through it, you're like, I did that. I did that. I pushed past it. The hard part's over. But for some reason you've been avoiding that hard part. You know, it's like when you go I think of like if I go on like a zip line or I'm gonna go on a roller coaster and it's like that initial part it's like oh no now I have to go down what am I gonna do like it's like then you just go down and then the hard part's over you know um that's what I'm feeling like it's like something that's it'll be over quick it'll be over fast maybe this has to do with like reaching out and apologizing to somebody or somebody kind of apologizing to you take it how it resonates because it could be like listen i'm sorry like and they've been delaying it but it's been causing anxiety and once they just apologize or once you just own up take accountability it's over like you can you've released it what's the strength card doing here please the magician yeah this sets you up for like new fresh energy okay um, for some of you, I'm hearing you could like reconnect with somebody from like seven years ago, seven years ago, or something that happened seven years ago, something about seven is specific. All right, what's the three of cups doing here? Three of cups. What is the three of cups doing here? The world card. Okay, so something coming to a completion, a closure, three of cups. Um... 
this could be like a creative project too the three of cups is always like a very flowing energy because it's like could be a conversation that's being had it could be spending time with friends yes it could be third party um situations but take it how it resonates whatever it is the world card i feel like this is more communicating about something being expressed something that was held back is now being expressed and it's closing some kind of cycle let's get one more there three of cups the world card what is being communicated or expressed here the emperor yeah it's like taking charge taking charge of a situation taking initiative and pushing forward taking control of a situation what situation are we taking control of here the eight of pentacles putting in the work putting in the effort you have the skills you have the resources it's moving forward on that now okay so let's look at the nine of wands here the nine of wands wounded warrior this could be like self-protection knowing you need to push forward and fight one more battle that's what this whole week is giving like pushing forward fighting one more battle why is the nine of wands here what is the nine of wands doing here oh ooh, ooh. we have the page of swords and the sun card so I feel like there's something expressing something being put out there, but it still feels like you're protected. So maybe you're putting this out online because there does like with the nine of wands, it still feels like there is a layer of protection here. But with the page of swords and the sun card, it does feel like there's something that you're putting out. There's something that's being put out. Okay. Um, it might not be a face-to-face -face situation, but there could be something that's being put out and it's like, it's out there. Now I just have to kind of wait for the response or it's out there. I did my part. And, you know, let's see. Empress energy. It's like by the end of the week, I feel like whatever this energy is that you feel at the beginning, it will be transmuted. What will it be transmuted into? It will be outside of you okay it will be outside of you whatever this is you don't even want to look at your part five of wands and the knight of cups so this can talk about conflict competition um but then the knight of cups is an offer so it could even be like if you're going for something if you're going for an opportunity or something like that it's like you're putting your offer out there your offers out there and now it's like separate from you it's separate from you and now it's up to the spirit and the universe to like make a move back right so I'm gonna pull some more cards here before I go into extended and in the extended I always pick from the archetype cards the tea leaf tarot message cards romance angels to get a deeper look into this but i want to see here first what are you specifically what is this situation that you're specifically dealing with the ten of cups emotional fulfillment whatever this is it's going to bring you a sense of emotional completion and fulfillment it's going to bring you happiness and peace what is happening for you this week the temperance card oh my gosh patience healing divine guidance oh my god the ace of swords so clarity communication new beginnings like that nine of swords to the ten of swords goes back to the one so whatever is like plaguing you right now i feel like you're having a breakthrough you're having some kind of breakthrough look at that ten of pentacles damn virgo whatever the shift is whatever like you're pushing through whatever battle you're fighting it's about to lead you to like major fulfillment okay major completions but at the same time like a new fresh start what exactly does this have to deal with the wheel of fortune divine like it's something that is like faded divinely guided and I feel like with the five of cups here it is like that 
crying over spilt milk, something is going to be amended. What's going to be amended for Virgo this week? Five of cups again. I feel like this is something that like two cups that have spilt over, the cups that have spilt over, you're gonna be making amends with whatever like, whatever like regret or guilt there is from the past. We have the seven of cups. Like you have new options now and the seven of crystals and it's like patience, perseverance, something more solid is about to show up for you. That's gonna help you look at those cups spilt as like, okay, they're spilt. There's nothing I can do. It's not even tangible. It was never even tangible in the first place. This, this that I'm looking at right now is tangible. Who might be coming towards you this week? Who might be coming towards you this week? The five of crystals and the tower card. So something unexpected and shocking. Something like you being out in the cold. I feel like now everybody's about to be out in the cold with the four of swords here. This is like rest. And then the ace of cups, like a new beginning. The tower card here and then the six of cups. So something from the past, something from the past. But if you felt out in the cold, I feel like this tower is like something unexpected, something unexpected, something that needs to take place. And it's like in order for you to sit in stillness, okay? That's why it's happening. So that's what I'm seeing in the extended, I will dive deeper into this. So if you're interested in that, I will see you over there. Bye.